146, a solution contains 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth moles of potassium bromide, KBr, and 0.1 moles of potassium chloride, KCl, per liter. AgNO3 is gradually added to the solution. What forms first, solid AgBr or solid AgCl? Good question. Let's figure it out. Okay, so we're talking about solids forming. That's precipitation. So that's all about solubility products. So they gave us the two compounds already. So thank you for that. I went to the back of the textbook to find out which of these have, you know, the AGCL and the AGBR. What is the KSB values for each? So the KSB value of AGCL is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. And the Concentration of a uh, concentration. The KSP for AGBR is 5.0 times 10 to the negative 13th. We're going to use these two to see which one is going to form first, solid AGBR or solid AGCL. So I'll put the AGBR on the left side and the AGCL on the right side, and then we'll work one at a time. Doesn't matter which one you do first, we just have to, you know, do both of them. So Let's write out balanced equations. Let's do AgCl first. So we have AgCl, that's a solid, and it's going to break down, double arrow, into its two ions, right? Cl minus, right? Chloride is always a negative one. Ag is one of those transition metals that are always a plus one. So we have Ag plus one and Cl minus one. They're both charges, so that means that they're both AQ, aqueous, and this equation's already balanced, so I'm going to put it off to the side here. Let's do AGBR now. It's kind of the same exact thing. AGBR, solid, yields, Ag+, plus, and then bromine is in the same group as chlorine, so they're both negative one charges. They're both AQ because I see charges, and it's balanced, so this is going over here. Okay, now we have to find out what is the concentrations that we know. Well, they did tell us that we had 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth moles of KBr, and they say it's per liter. Remember, per liter means that you have one liter right? Per one liter. So a mole value per means division. So a mole divided by liter is a molarity. So let's just get rid of that. Okay. Now in order to see, let's see, which one is the common ion? Do we care about the potassium or do we care about the bromine? Well, we only care about the ion that I can spot in my balanced equation. So it's either going to be on the product side for the AGCL or the product side for the AGBR. And you're absolutely correct. It's the bromine ion that I care about. And since they told me that it was 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth moles per liter, that's the same thing as molarity. That's for the whole compound. But remember, KBr breaks down into one potassium and one bromine. So it's a one to one to one. So this concentration, the bromide ion, is 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth, just using our molar ratios. And that is the starting amount that we're going to be using over here. So I know that my bromide ion concentration is 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth molarity. I can now solve for what that concentration of the Ag plus is by just labeling it as X. So let's see, maybe we'll just put this up here for now, but now I'm gonna pull in the KSP equation. Remember the general, actually, actually I'm gonna get rid of this because we found it out. Pause the video if you need this, but it's going bye-bye. And the general KSP equation is this. This I'm gonna put up right here because we're gonna use it for both. So in this case, the KSP equals concentration of Ag plus 
times the concentration of Br minus. No need to raise anything to the coefficients because they're both a one in front. Ksp for AgBr is 5.0 times 10 to the negative 13th. The bromide ion we just found out was 1 times 10 to the negative 5th, and the Ag is going to be an x. So let's solve. 5.0 times 10 to the negative 13th equals x times 1.0 times 10 to the negative 5th. We're going to divide on both sides by 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth. And now we get x equals whatever that is. You're just going to add negative 13 minus a negative 5, so plus 5. That is 5 times 10 to the negative 8. And that's molarity. Now keep in mind, we're finding out what that Ag plus concentration was. So maybe if I just pull this up a little bit, and I pull this up a little bit, remember we labeled the Ag concentration as just an x. So that's going to be the 5.0 times 10 to the negative eighth. We are going to use this right after we solve for what the AgCl is. So now let's do it for the next one. KCL, 0.1 moles per liter. So I have KCL. And if we see, the Cl minus is what I care about. That's the common ion between the two. And if they told us that we had 0 0.10 mole per liter, that's the same thing as molarity. KCL breaks down into K plus and CL minus. We only care about the CL minus. One KCL for every one CL. So this would also be 0 0.10. And that's my starting concentration for the chloride ion. So that's this, 0 0.10 molarity. And now I'm going to solve for this X value. So pause the video if you need this little thing, but it's going away. Bye-bye. KSP equals concentration of Ag plus times Cl minus. The Cl minus is now the 0 0.10. Ag is x. And the KSP for AgCl is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. Okay. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10th equals x times 0 0.10. We're just going to solve, divide by 0 0.10. This one's pretty easy. Cancel that out. And I'm just going to pull this up because x equals 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10th divided by 0.1. I get 1.6 times 10 to the negative 9th molarity. And remember, we're just going back to that Ag concentration. So in this case, Ag plus, which was just x, 1.6 times 10 to the negative ninth concentration. Okay, so now here's our two answers that we care about. One concentration is 1.6 times 10 to the negative ninth. The other one is 5.0 times 10 to the negative eighth. Which solid is going to form first, right? Now we could think of it as the Ag plus, or we could think of this as the molar solubilities. Keep in mind that whenever you're solving for X, this is also the molar solubility. So this is the molar solubility of what's going to form for AgCl. And this is also the molar solubility for what's going to form for AgBr. So which one's going to form first? Well, the idea is that the smallest value will, uh, you know, form first. The solid will form first because you have a lower amount. You have to always reach the lower amount before you get to the higher amount. So 
between 1.6 times 10 to the negative ninth and 5 times 10 to the negative eighth, just look at those exponents. 10 to the negative ninth versus 10 to the negative eighth. 10 to the negative ninth, this is lower than 10 to the negative eighth. This is higher. So in this case, the lower value will always form first. And the lower value is the 1 times 6 times 10 to the negative ninth, which corresponds with AgCl. So which solid is going to form first? AgCl forms first because the molar solubility, the x value that we found, was lower than the AgBr. And that's the end. Okay, what'd you think? I really hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool YouTube channel. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers, and that's all because of you guys. So thank you so much for that. I will see you later. Bye-bye.